So, a while ago, I was scrolling through the comments on my The Most Useless Items in Subnautica video, when I came across a couple of comments saying that the Cyclops was actually useless. At the time, I just dismissed them as, how could the Cyclops be useless? It's essentially a portable base. Yet, after thinking about it for a while, I've come to realise that they could possibly be right. And these people aren't the only ones who have this idea. Upon further research, I found countless debates in Reddit and the Subnautica Steam page on whether the Cyclops was actually useless or not. So, is the Cyclops actually useless? First of all, let's go over the reasons why some people say the Cyclops is useless. Probably one of the biggest downsides of the Cyclops is its size. I mean, it's 54 meters long, 14 meters wide, and 12 meters high. This, paired with its slow speed, makes it quite hard to maneuver through tight spaces or around obstacles. Another main argument is that the Cyclops also requires significant power to operate. This can be pretty problematic, as power cells aren't the cheapest thing to make, and you definitely don't want your Cyclops running out of power while trying to escape a Leviathan. It's also incredibly loud, attracting unwanted attention and making it very hard to be stealthy or avoid detection. Of course, you could activate silent running, but then that would further drain its already rapidly depleting energy. And, in theory, these are all very valid points. However, these are all problems, not solutions. So if you're not going to be using the Cyclops, it means that sure, you don't have to worry about all those facts I just mentioned, but you're also missing out on all the benefits the Cyclops provides. So, to determine whether the Cyclops is actually useless, we now have to look at all the features that you lose out on if you don't use the Cyclops. Like I said before, the Cyclops is basically a portable base. You can place storage containers, fabricators, beds, and even grow beds inside it, and with a maxed out depth module, you can basically move it around and place it anywhere on the map. This makes it a great tool for transporting large quantities of materials and resources across the map. Plus, it even has the ability to transport either your Seamoth or Prawn Suit inside it as well. And even if the Cyclops is attacked, it has a bunch of health, meaning unlike the Seamoth or Prawn Suit, it's unlikely to get destroyed, and so provides a level of protection and safety to the player when exploring dangerous biomes as well, that other vehicles don't provide. So then, wouldn't losing all these features be a massive disadvantage? Obviously, the Cyclops isn't useless then, right? Apparently not. In response to the pro-Cyclops community providing all these benefits of the Cyclops, according to those who believe the Cyclops is useless, while maybe the Cyclops does have some uses, they say the Seamoth is actually better. You see, according to the Cyclops is useless community, the Seamoth is better for a number of reasons. First of all, you have the renewable energy. By attaching the Seamoth Solar Charger upgrade module, you'll never have to recharge it, as all you have to do is stay near the surface for a while, and soon it'll be fully charged. And, even if you plan to stay deep underwater for extended periods of time, you could just simply build a base with a moon pool in it, and it'll probably still take up less than half the materials it takes to build the Cyclops. Also, if you want to transport loads of materials, all you have to do is equip the Seamoth with a storage module. You equip up to 4 of these, and with each providing you with 16 storage slots, that's 64 slots in total, or the equivalent of 1 and a third storage lockers. So again, these are all very valid points. However, there's one key detail that they are forgetting. The Seamoth can only travel down to a max depth of 900 meters. And with just the Seamoth and no Cyclops, it's pretty hard to get a prawn suit to the lava zones to allow you to explore deeper. So is the Cyclops actually useless? This user, Dirac2012, seems to sum up the answer perfectly. A screwdriver is a useful tool, but it's really useless if you're trying to cut down a tree. The Cyclops is used as a mobile base, where you can build storage, grow beds, fabricators, even build beds, so you can work for a long time at the deepest biomes. You can't even finish the game without actually building one, as you need the shield generators to escape the planet. It may not fit all playstyles, but it's far from useless. Of course, this is just an opinion. There may be some arguments on both sides that I've just completely missed. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, if you think any other items are useless that I haven't covered, let me know too. So yeah, but wait, what's that? I missed the most important point on why the Cyclops is useful. Oh yeah, of course. Clearly the Cyclops isn't useless because you can destroy it in order to vibe to one of the best pieces of video game music ever created.